Hello everyone. Is there anyone online? Are you here? If you are, if any, send me a comment first. Help me to know that you are online. Shopon, good morning. Students are not coming till now. Shopon, sir. Send the video link to our uh, six semester group. I think they are not getting it. One is still here. Shaptarshi, <coughs> did you tell others to come here? Shaptarshi, can you listen to me? Give your response by writing in the comment section. I will get to know about it. Okay, so you told them about the class. Are they coming? Okay, let's start with this. Because uh, my internet connection is not that good and uh, there will be if we wait for the others okay. uh, before we before we start let me tell you one thing that uh, your exam will be as scheduled okay your exam will be on time so don't think that lockdown your exam will be uh, deferred or your exam will be postponed at 
it will be as scheduled earlier so get prepared yourself for the exam now today i will uh, start with this the journey this is from the uh, northeast literature the journey by indira goswami is a uh, it is a first it was in assamese the writer herself is also from the state of assam and text is also in assamese language translated into c what happens indira goswami from assam she is uh, living in delhi she has her sir mirajkor from he is from delhi uh, we are working in uh, delhi university in the department of modern indian languages and literary studies what happened the both uh, in assam actually they have come here to attend a conference which was organized by the students of students of the assam now what uh, they have visited the kaziranga and then they were approaching towards guwahati now what happens the road the area through which they were traveling was a wild area with most of the forests so what happened there was a fear that the wild animals will attack them because you know the assam is uh, famous for the one horned uh, rhinoceros and many other wild animals are there the total area of uh, the state assam is also very huge so there always remains this uh, fear besides this besides this there was another fear that is the fear of the extremist now both of them professor mirajkor and indira goswami they were uh, in a car and they were talking with each other about their uh, likes dislikes about their fe fears and many other things at the time professor mirajkor uh, was saying that he was not afraid of the wild animals but he fears he fears the activity of the extremists or he fears the extremists why because there is a reason see it of him uh, you can see his best had been killed by the extremists punjab that's why he fears the extremists now um, both of them they were trying to reach guwahati before the dark it is obvious thing that every one of us will try to do that in such occasions now what happened uh, while traveling from kaziranga to guwahati uh, they were uh, seeing the various things the sight the beautiful sight of the nature and uh, and the other things meanwhile something happened in their car in their car a mechanical disturbance occurred in their car it so happened that the radiator of the car uh, was leaking and the water in it evaporated so what happened the point now the driver now the driver uh, car and the name of the driver uh, is romakanto you can uh, note it the driver's name is romakanto and he said that he uh, had to approach a mechanic or uh, he has to take the car to a workshop okay now at that time another person another very thin and looking grave looking person approached them he was old and he approached them he held a kerosene lamp in his hand 
एंड ओर ए लूज कुर्ता एंड धोती वट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सच काइंड ऑफ एपियरेंस बाई द राइटर बिकॉज एक्चुअली द पर्सन हु जस्ट नाउ अप्रोच द टू ट्रेवलर्स फ्रॉम आउटसाइड इज ए पोअर पर्सन वी विल गेट टू नो अबाउट हिज डिटेल्स इन लेटर पार्ट सो ही वॉज वन मोर थिंग इज दैट ही इज पोअर बट ही इज ऑनेस्ट एंड वॉट ही सेट टू दैम he said to them that uh, he actually requested them to come to his shop he has a shop a tea stall which was uh, run by that person and his wife so he requested them to come to <coughs> his uh, tea stall and at that time he will uh, arrange for a mechanic he will stop a car in the route and uh, he will uh, make arrangements for the driver romakanto to go to a workshop and bring a mechanic so that their car can be repaired now professor birajkar and uh, uh, indra goshami they all arrived at his tea stall that tea stall was run by that stranger person and his wife now what happened Uh, see the appearance or the description of the wife of that person earlier i told that they were poor and you can see the description is given that he held a kerosene lamp and uh, he was wearing a and a dhoti now see her wife her wife was wearing a cotton makla makla is a traditional uh, dress for the uh, assamese women she was uh, wearing that and an old embroidered chadar and this chadar was uh, not a clean chadar it was stained with betel uh, juice and there was uh, a, a particular thing which attracted their notice is that she wore a torn blouse it actually revealed that how poor she is <coughs> now what happened um, they were talking they were talking with this uh, old woman she was preparing uh, tea for the for these two strangers but it is a, a very sad thing that in a tea stall the necessary items like uh, the uh, tea leaves sugar um, and uh, other materials and cups and biscuits and so many other things we can get so many other things in a uh, general generally we can get so many other normal their financial condition the minute so she managed to some deal uh, for this tea she was about to she was about to making they were talking she told the door this point her grave story her old sad story started uh two song they were not actually poor earlier actually it was because of the fate they were because because of the fate they were made uh, what happened she started narrating about uh, her own story like uh, how she was her financial positions earlier and uh, how she and her husband and whole family have become uh that time that person uh, the husband of that old woman he returned it's so 
uh, bring some mechanic for the, uh, not only he managed to a car for the driver to go and fetch a mechanic and he uh, within uh, a few hours the car will be okay and they can go now what happened when he returned he that his wife is telling a sad story their sad story to the strangers and he interrupted he said that a hey, mother of nirmali uh, nirmali nirmali okay so a hey, mother of nirmali by address is he is telling that with your so with your sad tales they are tired get some tea now what happened uh, she resisted she again and again telling her old sad person that person is not like that the husband he is not interested own sad story to anyone stranger because he thinks that it might get them bored and nobody wants to live. so <clears throat> in uh, that part person now the woman was saying that uh <clears throat> said uh, the his uh, husband her husband's uh, head stuffed with past glories which i told you earlier were not earlier poor some glories earlier she said that what if there was a borborua in the who went about with a gold tipped walking stick and an umbrella with a silver handle who sat on a magnificent couch so what here borbura means a close associate of the king and by these things a gold tipped walking stick umbrella with a silver handle and that person used to sit magnificent couch it all uh, signifies the family the family was a family they were not poor this and when she was telling about this the husband said that go get the tea first don't forget to add crushed ginger no ginger put one or two cassia leaves and two strangers eyes fell on a uh, certain musical instrument and that instrument okay so that instrument is dutara actually the husband used to play it dutara okay uh, so he used to play service not because of earning money actually it was his passion passion for singing and playing this dotara dotara i think you know the musical instrument he said visiting the namgor on the bank of the flu river were familiar with it. but what up many of the namgars many of the namgars on its bank like arimra holapar koha muk all these people all these places these places knew my dutara and they also know about his songs 
at this point if someone say this type of things to you now what you will say you will uh, obviously you will request them to sing a song the same thing also done by the uh, uh, professor mirajkar and indira goswami they requested him to sing a song for them at the time also uh, curious about uh, tigers actually if if you visit a certain place for which the place is famous you will definitely ask for the things to see isn't it if you if you go to vaga border you will definitely try to see the closing ceremony so the same thing happened here so they were very eager to see the tigers and rhinos and that person was telling that people say they are they are in 1966 but now are about 60 rhinos have grown in number 300 to 1500 there are some 500 elephants too there is a significance of this elephant you will get some questions uh, like, see what happened uh, what is written here the person said uh, we saw some elef no not the person saying we saw some elephants i said do they come here ever and the person is saying that not these days because of the traffic earlier before the floods they would descend on our paddy fields and all of us farmers would work together to drive them away but now what happened tigers do come do you know what happened just the other day see what happened the other day Dimuiguria Mohantos elephant was tied to a tree beside a roadside pond. This is imp important. Remember the name of the elephant. It is Dimuiguria Mohantos elephant was tied to a tree beside a roadside pond and the elephant is very gentle. Whenever he is taken for a bath in the Diflu, Diflu is the river, he plays with uh, the boys and girls there. He was lying by the pond that day when a tiger jumped on him and tore away a whole chunk of flesh from his back. This is an incident he narrated. And here I also uh, I must tell you that uh, why they have become so poor. It is all because of the flood. Actually they had uh, plenty of uh, rice, plenty of the stocks of rice and suddenly what happened? Uh, it is all about the fate. The flood has uh, drive the drive all the crops away from them, and they are left homeless, and that's why they have become so poor. And one more thing, one more thing is that at first they have uh, narrated about it. What is it? When the two strangers arrived at their tea stall, they noticed that the tea stall was not a well decorated one. And they also said that uh, they are not well off and they live by hard labor and they are not like the other uh, tea sellers who attract people uh, who uh, made their stalls uh, by decorating colorfully and uh, this, this attracts the people but they can't do it because of their poor financial condition. Now see what happened uh, here we here we are talking about the elephants now see <clears throat> when he narrated about uh, the the muiguria montos elephant and how the tiger has uh, taken away a part of his flesh it is a horrible thing uh, and the strangers were uh, responding like oh god we cried out in horror horror and then they are asking what happened then then the person is saying that elephants are actually omniscient creatures did you know that Muammaria revolution where the Vaishnavites uh, fought against the horned kings started because of an elephant this is also important question comes from this section uh, about the uh, 
Muammaria revolution and uh, why the elephant is called the omniscient creatures and how an elephant is responsible uh, uh, how is an how is the elephant is responsible for the fight between the horned kings and the mantos see what happened there a thin um, he said that it is all because of a thin and tottering elephant it happened du during the time of king lakshminath shingho who came to the throne in his old age he was very friendly with his minister and the name of the minister is uh, kirtinath borborua they were uh, both of them were close friends now among the ohom kings Lakshminath and Gorinath Shingho were the most ugly. Most ugly means they were cruel and not like an ideal king. They were opium eaters. Opium uh, is a narcotic item. So they are opium eaters. They could barely keep their eyes open. Like uh, every time they remain in intoxicated mood by eating the opium. That's why it is said that they could barely keep open. Gorinath, once what happened? Gorinath fancied a woman, not once. Uh, usually, Gorinath fancied if a Gorinath fancied a fisher woman who lived on the banks of the deep flu, his palanquin would wait and wait outside her place while he was uh, about to continue his uh, tales, but he was interrupted because. Why he was interrupted? Because he was going out of the context. Actually, they were asking about uh, why an elephant is responsible for the fight of the Montos and uh, Hongs. And he is uh, shifting his story from one to another. Now see what happened. What about the elephant? I asked again. After interrupting, uh, Indira Goswami asked again, what about the elephant? Kirtinath the Borborua tussled with the Muamaria Mohantos. There was this law that said that the Mohantos must make a present of elephant to the royal court as tribute every year. Once these Mohantos gave an old sick elephant to Borborua, a Mohanto went with his tottering elephant to the Borborua. Uh, uh, when he... Uh, see here the two lines are repeated see uh, once what happened a uh, mohanto brought a sick thin and tottering elephant uh, to the court and what happened uh, when the borburua saw the rickety old animal the minister was wild with rage here starting point of the revolt because he has uh, cut off now, now what will happen other Mohanto come with this? They will start. <laughs> At this point, the old woman, the wife, she interrupted impatiently. Looping off airs indeed. She said, looping off air, old man, for God's sake, take the lamp and have a look around. The boy might be lying somewhere hit by the militant bullets. This is uh, another uh, sad part of the story. He said to if their son is lying on the railway tracks. Why? Because the area is full. Okay. Now, their son, their uh, youngest son, he also joined the extremist group. And there is always a gunfight between the militants and uh, the Indian Army soldiers. So it might be possible that the soldiers uh, have killed him and left his body on the railway track. <coughs> That's why she is uh, telling that she has heard from someone that her son is lying on the railway track. And she is asking her husband to go and see if he is lying there or not. But that man is not uh, eager to go because many times he has gone there, but he has not found anything. <clears throat> the, 
the old man continued as if she has not spoken in this month of aghon 9000 mohammadiya soldiers made kirtinath a prisoner kirtinath is that borborua the minister uh, they all made kirtinath a prisoner while he was on his way to rongpur and all because of a deformed elephant i said as i said this revolt was started uh, okay then what happened then the driver romakanto he arrived and he said that he was successful in getting a mechanic and uh, he took the radiator out of the car and then uh, he went with the radiator he took the radiator to the to a workshop and he will repair it it will take about uh, at least one and a half hour it will take to get it repaired <coughs> now another thing is that uh, earlier i have mentioned why they have become poor it is all because of the flood earlier they had full of crops full of rices they had two granaries full of paddy even strangers were sure of a meal with scented rice and cow fish if the strangers arrived at their home the strangers were sure that they will surely get a meal surely get a good meal with scented rice and cow fish <coughs> okay and uh, the old man also saying to the strangers that he will take them uh, to his uh, old home there he will he can see um, the antique pieces of his ancestors like uh, his ceremonial hat the umbrella with a silver hand a silver vessel decorated couch betel nut holder and everything now at this point uh, here comes the song of that old man he will sing because the strangers were requesting him to sing a song and he started singing this song this is actually a assamese song of the assamese vaishnavi songs so the uh, lyric of the song is like that this world is futile like drops of water on a lotus leaf fate will make us a heap of ashes this life this youth is all a fleeting dream this way uh, he carries on his song now uh, <clears throat> they were observing the person the old person the narrator or the speaker that is uh, indira goshami is uh, saying that she could see the criss crossing lines under his eyes his teeth were missing his cheeks shrunken making his nose look longer than it actually was he sang as if the songs would never come to an end after padma priya's composition the song was uh, composed by padma priya Padmapiya's composition. He sang several other songs composed by the Vaishnava saints. I felt as if I was sitting on the bank of the deep blue, watching the moon playing in the waters. So this is the thing. Uh, remember that there may be a question like uh, the stranger, the old person, about the description of him. So you can uh, write it from here how he actually looked like. and there may be some questions like who was professor mirajkar this is a, a very important like who was professor mirajkar uh, earlier at the beginning of this short story i i i told you that that he was a professor he was working in delhi university and uh, in the department of what in the department of uh, modern indian languages and literary studies now they listened to his songs for about an hour punctuated by his wife's restlessness then <clears throat> what happened now it's uh, time for the for the professor mirajkar and indira goshami to leave now they they also have taken tea now they have to pay for it so they paid some uh, money for the tea okay they kept it uh, they kept it on the tray 
beetle beetle tree but here here this proves the honesty of the of that old man what he said actually they have paid uh, some extra money more than uh, more than the cost of the tea they have paid now at this point uh, that old man was saying that keep the charge for the tea and return the rest why why his he don't want anybody to pay for his songs actually i told you that uh, why he used to sing because of his passion not because of uh, doing some kind of business it's all because of his passion so he don't want anyone to pay for his songs okay now what happened at this point there was a uh, there was a uh, sound outside okay it is uh, the, the sound like a bomb was exploded and and they were all they were all in a, a terrific situation because because of that sound and suddenly what happened a young boy came in see the young boy is the son of this old man and woman <clears throat> and uh, there is a description also uh, so uh, listen it what was the description he was a young boy across his cheek ran a deep gash from eye to lip made by a bullet or a sharp knife there was a there was blood and pus in it the flesh under his lip looked as if been uh, ripped open and we could see his teeth in the quivering light i went to the old woman and took her hand in mine gripping it tightly we were both shivering the boy was wearing black jeans and a khaki jacket and what was that in his hand a revolver it was a question a revolver even in the smoky light of the kerosene lamp the barrel shone barrel in a gun you can see that barrel the old woman uh, burst into a hysterical cry because that young boy is none other than her son she was saying oh my kanbap my son i told your father a thousand times to bring you from the railway track oh my son what has happened to you why are you bleeding like this suddenly what happened suddenly the boy's eye fell on the girl and he is uh, very angry with the girl why there is a reason the girl once what happened he f she fall in love with and with a soldier of the indian army and as the area was uh, full of the militants they don't like indian soldiers so don't so, uh, they don't like indian soldiers so uh, the neighboring boys what they did they beat the girl black and blue and let me handle this phone first ah. so they uh, beat the girl very badly now at this point when uh, the boy came in and uh, his his eyes fall on that girl he was uh, he was uh, he got more angry than before and he started beating her by kicking on her uh, stomach and what he said i will smash your womb i will kill the bastard child of that soldier you are carrying that girl is holding the child of that soldier making love with an indian soldier dirty bitch these were the words and after that uh, he started kicking the girl on her stomach and uh, the father the father uh, was uh, then at this moment started to resist him and then suddenly what happened now the young boy's eyes fall on that money and suddenly he grabbed the money it was uh, like a vulture when some 
when a vulture sees its prey immediately it grabs its uh, prey the same way the boy was grabbing the money why he speaks to himself what he speaks those poachers are selling a us carbine it's an old gun but sturdy with this money i will definitely buy a us carbine means that he wanted to purchase a, a, a modern gun a us made barrel and he needs money the poachers poachers like uh, the hunters uh, like uh, those who are used in uh, used to sell the animal organs those who are engaged in dealing with uh, animal trafficking they are called the poachers so the poachers is selling a us barrel and definitely he will go to buy it because the revolver he is holding is a old one so uh, after grabbing the money what happened he dis he disappeared he disappeared as swiftly like a flash of lightning in a dark still night and how he came he came in like a cyclone but when he left when he disappeared it was like a swiftly uh, like a flash of lightning <clears throat> now what happened now uh, as he uh, kicked on the stomach of that uh, girl she was bleeding now the father uh, now the father the old woman the old woman was weeping the blood from her womb from her stomach okay and but what happened there was a smile hovered on uh, his lips it is the smile that uh, his uh, son has returned and uh, it happens that he uh, he got a chance to see his uh, son that is about the smile that is the reason about the smile and the narrator here said that i had never seen such a painful smile in my life why it is painful because his uh, girl she is bleeding very badly and uh, their son their youngest son she is also gone mad she ha he has become a militant some day if not today then tomorrow or maybe day after tomorrow he will be killed by the soldiers uh, captured so this is not a good fortune for him and what about uh, their uh, uh, first son actually because of the flood he was drawn away so now they had uh, no sons because the first son has been dry, died the second one has become a militant the girl the girl is bleeding now she is also her fate is also very miserable that's why their and their financial condition is also not very good that's why there was a pain in them but still uh, he smiled because of uh, because they had got the chance to see their uh, son and for that reason the narrator here said that it is the painful smile in their life that they never had seen before now mirajkar and i resumed our journey towards guwahati here who, what happened um, after that they resumed their journey but this was a very important experience it was a very you can say a strange experience uh, that's why they never spoke in their car it was as if we were traveling through a dark tunnel endlessly and this way the whole story ends up okay so i hope you all have understood it well if not you can uh, watch this video again you will get it and uh, one more thing is that uh, why i have taken this one today you will not get this uh, story the content of this story uh, easily there is only one website in the internet where this uh, content is available you can uh, get it if you don't get it uh, text me i will uh, send you the link the url i will send you one more thing is that uh, what are the important questions from these topics
if you want you can uh, write it down take a pen and paper uh, i'm telling you what are the important questions from this uh, section first question is uh, who wrote the short story the journey you you know it indira goswami uh, she is from assam uh, you can also write about her occupation uh, that she is working in delhi university in the department of modern indian languages hmm, this way you can write it next what are the different types of uh, exploitation mentioned in the story different types of exploitation Uh, here i must tell you the about the exploitation that is first uh, the first exploitation was uh, done by the nature itself because it was because of the flood that they have uh, become so poor from a uh, well of family to a poor family and the next one is who the next one is when there is a flood or any natural calamities the government the authority will uh, provide some assistance some financial assistance at this time the government also provided them some uh, money but what happened the authorities the authorities did not pay the money instead they take all the money themselves so the second uh, exploiter is the authority then what happened then the next thing is uh, honesty they are honest they can't cheat anyone they can't uh, uh, bring money or uh, earn money by some evil means so these are the reasons okay then uh, the next question is dominant theme of the short story the journey this is also important the next Uh, significance of the title of the short story the journey this is also very important significance of the title the next question is who was uh, professor mirajkar this is also important comment on the plot of the story this is also important so these are the all important questions okay um, for your convenience uh, i will also send the questions uh, in your whatsapp group okay so uh, read it properly and prepare yourself for the upcoming exams hope you will do uh, good in your exams okay and uh, i will try to come up with uh, other videos uh, shortly till then bye